I knew that that summer I was going to tell them something that I thought would end my career in football. I, I genuinely was terrified because this, this is my club, this has always been my club. I'm Sophie Cook and I was the club photographer here at AFC Bournemouth and I transitioned just as we got promoted to the Premier League and became the first trans woman to ever work in Premier League football. When we got promoted to the Premier League, uh, that match at Charlton where we were Crown Football League champions was my last ever match as Steve. And whilst it was the greatest day in the history of the club, I was terrified because I knew that that summer I was going to tell them something that I thought would end my career in football. But when I actually got round to telling the club just before that first Premier League season started. Um, first person I told was Rob Mitchell, the commercial director, and um, uh, and he arranged for me to come in for a meeting. And we're up in the owner's box overlooking the pitch, and there's um, there's Jeff Mostyn, the chairman of the club. There's uh, Rob Mitchell. There's the head of media. There's um, there's Liz Finney. There's um, and me in my pencil skirt and heels, looking absolutely fabulous. Funny thing is that actually I still had a job. And then Eddie turned around to me and he said, what can I do to make this easier for you? And the thing is when someone comes out, they can't expect people to understand straight away. But for your boss to say, what can I do to make this easier for you? That's all you can hope for. So I said to him, well, I need to meet the players before a match day. The first time they see me can't be as they're running down the tunnel because they'd be forgiven for doing a quick double take. So I came in for a training session and I remember being out on the training pitch and all the boys were off warming up and Eddie came up to me and he said, are you scared? And I said to him, you know what, for the first time in my life I'm totally at ease with who I am, so no, I'm not scared. And they called all the players together and Jason Tyndall stood up and said, I suppose you notice our photographer's changed a bit since last season. Growing her hair out, I'd like you all to meet Sophie. And then Tommy Elphick, our captain, just started clapping and the rest of the boys joined in. And then Tommy said, right, let's go and train. And I'm stood there and I'm like, was that it? I'd built this up so much in my head and yet it, it was handled perfectly by the club. It's like, here's a new piece of information, we've got it, now let's move on. And really when someone comes out, that's all it is, it's a new piece of information. And the love and support that I got, both from the players, the management, and ultimately the fans was absolutely amazing. Being part of uh, the club's Everyone Together campaign has been, it's, it's unusual. I mean, I've got my photo up in the stadium. I mean, four years ago when I came out as transgender, the idea that there'd be a photograph of a transgender person up on the wall of a football ground was absolutely unbelievable. And I think Everyone Together sends out a clear message that whoever you are, there's more that, binds us together and separates us. And I mean, I love the club's motto. The club's motto says so much about how we came from, from virtually non-league obscurity if we'd actually, if we hadn't had the great escape season all the way to the Premier League. Together, anything is possible. And, and it sums up the story of the club. It sums up my story since I transitioned. And it sums up what I think is truly great and wonderful about this club. It's important that football actually sends out that message and embraces everyone because football truly is the people's game.